Sorry I'm a little bit late. I've um, been having a bit of a technical issue. So um, I am out in the garden again this afternoon. I'm really hoping this is running because I'm not sure that it is. Ah, now it looks like it's running. Hello, I'm not sure what happened at the beginning of that. So I'm out in the garden again this afternoon. Um, I'm where I spent quite a lot of the afternoon. I am tucked up in my swing seat, able to look out at the view uh, and enjoy being cosy and out of the wind. Um, I've noticed in the, the last few days, not surprisingly since Sunday night, that there's been a lot of conversation in the news, online, all over the place, um, about children going back to school. So there are lots of people saying we don't see how we can do it and make it safe. There are people saying we want to do it and make it safe. There are parents who are saying we don't think it's right to send our children back yet. There are some children who really want to go back and some who really don't want to go back. And we don't quite know yet what's going to happen. It's all still a little bit uncertain. So tonight's thought really is a shout out for teachers because what I do know, especially as a schools worker who's still in touch with my schools, I know that teachers all over the place are doing an amazing job in really difficult circumstances. And very often the reason that teachers are amazing is not because of all the really big things that they do, it's because of all the small ways in which they make a huge difference to the young people and children that they teach. So I'm going to tell you a story tonight that I quite often use in school assemblies. You really have to imagine a bunch of children standing at the front acting out the parts. You'll understand as we go through. It is a children's story, but it makes a really important point about teachers. So, courtesy of Bob Hartman, this is the story of Jimmy the Elephant. When the first year teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grew up? Everyone had an answer. I want to be a ballerina, said Caitlin, and she gave a twirl. I want to be a football player, said Nelsie, and she kicked a goal. I want to be a farmer, said Peter, and he mooed like a cow. All Jimmy said was, I want to be an elephant, and everybody laughed. Everybody except the teacher. I can see why you'd want to be an elephant, the teacher said. Elephants are big and strong. So Jimmy practised at being strong. He pushed around boxes and bookcases and beds, and when his mum asked him what he was doing, he said, I'm practising, mum. I want to be an elephant. When the third year teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Everybody had an answer. I want to be a gymnast, said Caitlin, and she leapt into the air. I want to be a doctor, said Nelsie, and she pretended to operate on her teddy bear. I want to be a racing car driver, said Peter, and he roared around the room. But all Jimmy said was, I want to be an elephant. And everybody laughed. Everybody except the teacher. I can see why you'd want to be an elephant, she said. Elephants are funny. They make people laugh at circuses and zoos. So Jimmy went home and practised. He practised at making people laugh. He learnt how to wiggle his ears and cross his eyes and make all kinds of funny faces. And when his mum asked him what he was doing, he said, I'm practising, mum. I want to be an elephant. When the fifth year teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Everybody had an answer. I want to be a cowgirl, said Caitlin. And she swung a lasso round her head and yelled, yeehaw! I want to be a vet, said Nelsie, and she rolled over and pretended to be a sick puppy. <laughs> I want to be a rock and roll star, said Peter, and he played pretend guitar. But all Jimmy said was, I want to be an elephant, and everybody laughed. Everybody except the teacher. Well, you know what they say, he grinned, an elephant never forgets. Jimmy didn't know that they said that. But when he got home, he practised. He practised not forgetting. 
He memorised animal names and bird names and plant names. And when his mum asked him what he was doing, he said, I'm practising, mum. I want to be an elephant. Jimmy and his friends are all grown up now. Caitlin is a ballerina, Nelsie is a doctor, and Peter is a rock and roll star. And Jimmy? No, he doesn't work in a circus or a safari park or a zoo. He works at a hospital for sick children. He pushes their wheelchairs and lifts them into bed. You have to be big and strong to do that. Like an elephant. And when the children are unhappy, he wiggles his ears and crosses his eyes and makes them laugh. He's funny, a bit like an elephant. And no matter how many children on his ward, he never ever forgets one of their names. He's got a brilliant memory, a bit like an elephant. When the parents come to visit, they always ask the children, who is that? And the children say, well, his name tag says James. But for some reason, everybody here calls him Jimmy the Elephant. <laughs> I think it's a great story. It says something amazing about Jimmy, but it also says something about how special his teachers were. The ones that didn't laugh at him when he said something funny as he was growing up. Because through doing that, they didn't just teach him the things he needed to know about reading and writing and doing number work. They taught him about how to become the person that he was meant to be. I know it's just a story, but it's a good story and I think it makes a good point. So um, I'm going to say a prayer and I'm going to give thanks to God for the amazing teachers that we have and the difficult decisions that they have to make now. And at the end, if you'd like to make it your prayer, then feel free to message or say an Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we give you thanks for amazing teachers across this country and across the world. We thank you for all the effort that they are putting in to help children and young people learn at home and to look after those who have key worker parents and so have to go into school. We pray that as they try to decide how to get children back into school, that you will help them to make wise decisions, that you will keep those who are at risk themselves safe, and that you will give just courage and wisdom to all of them as they work out what to do next. Amen. Thank you for listening. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.